Jordan Prowler had to be prepared for that game. I thought we, uh, I thought we came out well. And Ryder, as coaches, you know, this guy's a really dangerous team. They can, their, their offensive numbers are crazy, staggering. And uh, we knew that's the kind of team with their guards that would be tough to turn them over and um, could give us a tough game. And then and they did. And um, I was just proud that if our guys didn't come to play, we could beat them. And our guys came to play. You know, they have break coming up. And everybody's been talking to them about the Syracuse game. And uh, it's, it's really, it's really uh, a pleasure to coach guys that can focus on the next game and have respect for their opponent. And that's, I think, the best thing we did today. Jay, how hard is that for these guys to keep the same focus? Like you said, people are already talking about Syracuse and Portland coming up. How is it something you teach them? Is it something they're just it's built in that they're able to keep that focus? It's something that we really try to teach. But we really try to teach it, but you know, we all try to teach everything. You know, it's their parents. We try to teach them what, what's their what's their character. You know, Josh is a freshman. He, he comes with character and the ability to concentrate. Um, Darren's always been like that. You know, character, the ability to concentrate. So, um, you know, we've all seen it over the years. These are games that are difficult, and if you play a good team, and like they are, that score is not indicative of how good this team is. I'm telling you, that's a really good team. And um, I was, that's what I was most pleased with. You, know, just, you can tell where they started the game. And a related question, James. How do you approach the rankings, the undefeated, the, the national attention you're getting? How, how do you approach that as a message? Um, you know, we try not to talk about that too much, Joe, because we try to talk about the next game. And uh, uh, that's what was really difficult with this game because you, everybody, you know, people were asking about. Syracuse, you know, it's natural. And uh, as coaches, you know, we've all been in these games. You know, that's the kind of team that can beat you uh, just because they're talented enough and they're great guard and can control tempo. So we were trying to talk to them about just the next game and not the dress room. I don't think ranking bottom them. I don't think um, all that stuff. I think sometimes, like, when you have a big game like that coming up and it's Christmas break, that's what gets to them. You know, I, I was very... Proud. Josh, you led a career high in nights against us tonight. Last time you scored against Iowa Cal State Mary's. Do um, you think you're one of the best teams going into this conference? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I'm just, you know, just kind of feeding off you know, my teammates, you know, just finding me and, um, you know, good spots to score that. So I just, you know, want to um, step into anything. So I just really got to be, you know, every, you know, my success right now for my teammates because they're, you know, doing everything to get me open and to give me shots. So, now, what is it about this team's ability to just focus on the task at hand and not look ahead or even back? Uh, I think that that's a major part of our experience. You know, guys like um, James Doyle, you know, Javon Peterson, even Arch, Daniel, um, myself, we just know we've kind of been here before. And, you know, any given night, you can beat You've seen that last year with um, Columbia, with Trip Shakur, 13 and 19. guys that are, are prepared a little bit better than others. I think uh, Chris and, and, uh, and Joshua are really, really well prepared. I, I think um, Daryl uh, Reynolds is actually well prepared because we have so many guys at that spot, you know. Um, but I, I think it's a big part of this team. And Darren, I thought, was very particular about the fact that we've got guys that have been through a lot of experience on and they spend the time our young guys and, and they understand it. So I think that helps our freshmen too. These, these guys are prepared and they've been taught well by different classes. Jay's uh, the best start to that this is one of the two seasons. Let me know. Anything you want to say about that? That's a great start, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. that, um, no, I'm, I'm very proud of that. I really am. Uh, it's been a lot of great teams here in Villanova. And um, I didn't realize it that that long ago, and uh, I'm very proud of them. I'm happy for these guys. I'm happy for, for our program. David, you have uh, 40 points.
on top of the bench today. Um, what does that say about yeah. you know how, how this team can adapt if need be to the conference season? So. Yeah, I think that's going to be um, something that over the course of the season can, can really be valuable to us. That's, you know, of all the things we've been doing here early, you know, you notice we really haven't been shooting the ball great from three, but what has been consistent is our bench contribution every night. And it's been different guys, but I just have to look at that. We said it's 40 probably our best this year, but there's been a, most nights we're getting a lot of production on the bench, and it's really productive. Um, it's productive minutes. Sometimes you can adjust to doing defensively, rebounding wise. Tony Schnell does it a lot of times with assists. Dylan Edison did it last game, seven assists. Um, I really think it's probably the best strength of this team. Darren, now that this game is over, what do you think about going up to Syracuse and playing them? Uh, it be a very, uh, <coughs> a lot of attention match. Yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a lot of fun. We got, got a lot of work to do ahead of us before that game. We got um, to go through film tomorrow and get our bodies right for that game. We got to do practice. Thank you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody.